Take care about nature. My eyes uh, hurt, you know. <laughs> From 1.8 meter distance staring for one hour. Not a single feather. I think you missed them. I, I feel the apocalypse has come and all pigeons and uh, crows have escaped. Escape, as in they're gone. It's the day, I guess. It's this typical Irish weather before a storm comes in. Okay, I'm going back. Uh, Hunting. Hunting for feathers. Yes. Three feathers in one and a half hours. Yeah, that's not great, man. That is not great. No, the feather. How have you been getting on? You take a little off, you measure, you take a little off, you measure, but it's super slow going at this stage. But you're still using knife cuts. Yeah, sure, what else would you be using? Maybe scraping. I have the idea of um, shortening it on both sides. That means that there's going to be a lot of strain on the remaining wood. To get higher poundage, making it shorter. shorter length. Yeah, and just making the thing a little bit more wieldable. So I don't like longbows because I think they're super awkward. Interesting, nice you think, one. You think I should just get the folding saw and start? Chopping. Yeah, if you have a plan, you should exactly do that. Let's go for it then. <laughs> we go from the from the knock. One one more a blade length distance. Only that much. On each side. All right. And you can always take more off, but it's hard to put it back on. <laughs> oh shit! It's the wrong mark. <laughs> It's quite interesting, you can see the the rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha! It's magic! It's the same! Hmm? Well that's a good thing.
Where is my sheets? Yeah, I bought this DC3 a long time ago. And I have to say, the diamond side is absolute rubbish. It wears out before you know it. But this little honing part, it's nice. I like it. Mine didn't wear out. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> Doing it on your leg, it's dangerous. Yes. Oh, yes. On my arms. Hmm? Sure that'll do, isn't it? How about yours, Julius? How do you like the performance? It feels stiffer. The upgrades? Yeah, right. You have to work on the tips? Uh-huh. I took a bunch of stuff off here this morning. So in a way, I, I should have taken less off here and then I don't have to remove as much here. You know, keep going until it's too late. Small right. bits, going back and forth to your tillering stick. Yeah. <laughs> You're developing a hinge. I have. You need all your bushcraft powers to make this right. No, I'm not going to. Put them in. I'm not going to because it means you significantly decrease the poundage. So I have failed. It shall be grand. Oh! Yikes. That! No, I'm not feeling great seeing this, Dylan. But! Boom! Kriakaka! Yeah, right at the hinge, eh? That was this morning's work. Too much material gone off it. Hmm? And shorting it puts more force on it, I suppose, huh? Ah, oh, this is sad. Sad days. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it was from the start. This was the tricky part. And then. But did you really have to take more material away there? I did. I did. But I took too much away. But how, how come? Wasn't it bending properly already there? Like it was bending, but. To me, it was like, eh, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, I, I was hoping for a shootout here, Dylan. Well, at this rate, you're collecting feathers, there'll be no shootout anyway. I'll have time to make a new one. <laughs> well, you haven't drawn your thing at full draw yet, so I... Coming up, coming up, coming folks. Up. Keep yeah, watching. You're saying that, but... Where's my breakthrough? <laughs> Time for crossbow. Time for a crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. But how do you make the trigger system? And that's tricky. Hmm? <laughs> Isn't it? I suppose you have a piece of wood like that. Hey, I think it's time for tar, man. No, it's crab. No, man. It's crab. The cooking process is... Jeopardized. Yes, exactly. Oh. Okay, 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 fair enough. This boot fixed running behind the facts. Head to the gate, head to the gate, hunt the bonnet just for the nuts. Sorry mate, you're gonna have to move your bench when you have cover.
da 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 You grab me the ten pack, Julius. Which one? Yeah, for You gotta have this. That's a fluffy. No, man. My biggest bushcraft annoyance concerning you. There are many pine pitch glue recipes. I used about equal amounts of resin, charcoal and the organic filler. Deer poo in this case. Additionally, adding beeswax or fat makes the glue flexible rather than glassy, which can be better depending on the application. Hey dude, what do you think of my crossbow? <laughs> I'm enjoying myself here working with you. I held together with a couple of towels, and then all I have to do is make a trigger system. <laughs> And according to my calculations... No, don't break it, man. <laughs> it has at least 75 kg draw strength, man. <laughs> 140 pounds. Yeah, I was thinking, isn't it a bit strange to do this without gloves? Fresh nettles? Yeah. If you want to get stung, it isn't. The truth of the matter is that we still don't have gloves. Yeah, they're late in the season, so I guess the knots are tough. The side stem joints. Mwah. Not smooth fix. That's more like it. Julius, you are brushing your feathers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I sorted them out into, uh, is this the left or the right wing? Anyways, different wings. This is this is one one side of the wing and this is the other side of the wing. You can see it by the curvature of the of the feather. So, and they have to be of the same uh, wing, the same curvature on the same arrow, you see? So this is going to be an arrow, this is going to be another arrow. This because is if you another. don't, they don't spin. Exactly. Uh, yeah, let's... And if you do, they go like... Bee! Right? Is, the, is this going smooth, Dylan? No. You start on the top. Oh. And then? And you cut the core and split it like you split wood, basically. Yeah. I kind of started doing that. Yeah, but you strip out if you go from the bottom. Okay. No, but this is so small, you almost can't do that. Can you? Yep. That's why you have a nice little small blade, you know? Yeah, let's let's upgrade to that. And now you can just peel it. You can just scrape an extra bit off the bottom to make it 
as thin as possible. Here. Yeah. Ah, it's raining again, man. Yeah, that's one. What do you want? Play. 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 You want to play with this stick? <laughs> In the meantime, I start working on the roundhouse. <laughs> People will love that, didn't they? Five out of ten comments are like, when is the roof gonna be finished? Oh, and Julius has his feathers sorted. Well, we did some, uh, we, ju we just came back for a little, um, a little sightseeing tour. Sightseeing, yes. Yeah, we went to a traditional thatched uh, Irish roof. So the house is like, Built in was it 1800s or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, super cool. Don't see them uh, like that anymore. And yesterday we went to the bog, did some digging in the bog. Spoilers, then spoilers. Yeah, but that's what people want, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because they obviously they're like, well, you need to root them. Well, there you go. I like to be surprised. The main uh, message is, I guess, tuned. please be patient. Uh, we are likely go for reed and we can only harvest the reed really in the winter time and we want to harvest the reed ourselves yeah so the roof we will finish the roof likely at beginning 2021 but before that there's still work to do a lot of work to do including making thousands of these thousands thousands i don't know actually but Definitely a couple of digits. You did some archery in the past and you even made some of your own arrows, uh, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think you should have done this job instead of me. <laughs> no, but I'm very happy to. Uh, to Learn this process. I start messing with my pine pitch. But I have to be quick now, I, I think. Yeah, that stuff is already food. Oh. That stuff dries quick. Too quick for me. Are you taking the uh, orientation of the knock in consideration, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Two feathers in and one feather out. Yeah, yeah. But my pine pitch, it you have to be so quick. I mean, this is dry before I got it on. And now it's only half left. What do you think of the basics? Yeah, grand, eh? Nice. I'm happy to hear. I put more glue on the ends, though. 
Uh -huh, yeah, definitely. I'm now gonna lash the ends with glue and stuff. Mm. But you also put uh, a lashing through the feather. You can if you want. It'll um, increase the longevity of them, you know? Uh -huh. But you have to sort of go in from the top and then it sinks down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then try and keep it uniform as tricky. <coughs> You're gonna coat the whole thing in stuff. Hey? Yeah, maybe it's all a bit over the top and the arrow gets heavy in, in the back like this. But <laughs> Where do you find geese in Ireland? Well, I know a place in the Netherlands where there's geese, like basically half the country. Mm. Big massive flocks of them too, right? Yes. <laughs> it's not good, man. It's not good. Oh, shit, uh, it's okay. It's all a bit primitive now. Well, isn't that the name of the game? Yes. Primitive arrow making. Wow. The most basic arrow point can just be a fire hardened wooden tip, shootable, as I only will be using these arrows for target practice. I also want to make some bone arrow heads, but believe it or not, the deer skull I had found got lost. Jaeger must have sneaked away with it. Also, I kind of ran out of time for this video. The arrow making is quite a bit of work. Made uh, one limb a little longer, that should be the top limb just by uh, shortening the handle a little bit on one side and round it off the back just on the sides a little bit round it off making it all smooth and uh, first time tailoring again yeah folks new proper technique to string your bow teach by the master in the last video got things completely reset up here it wasn't level, the tiller ink stick itself, so this should be good. Okay, let's see. Bending pretty even. I think we should relieve a little bit of stress here in this point by taking a little bit off here and a little bit off there. Folks will draw for the first time. I also made some tin can arrow caps. But they didn't hold up so well. But perhaps anything breaks when you hit a tree. I shot through the fence here. It didn't even go over the fence, it went through the fence. Mm. I hope I won't wreck that arrow too quickly. As I was editing this video, 
I noticed that especially the top limb tip could bend a bit more. So still some minor work can be done to improve my bow. A little more target practice and arrow smoothening do as well. But when shooting some man-made arrows at home, the bow shot actually decently accurate. Thanks for watching folks! Next week, unfortunately no uploads. I'll be on a survival adventure and need some time to change some things up in the process of making these videos. We hope you all stay tuned, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out when we're back and thanks for the great support, especially also our patrons who help us an extra bit in making this content possible. Thanks a lot, see you on the next one.